Hey there, it's Laura. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making some DIY embellished tags using my wild hair kit for the month of June 2019. And this video series this month is a collaboration with Rachel Tauman, who is on the Wild Hair Kids design team with me. We are using the same exact kit this month. This is a hand curated kit company. So depending on your style, what kind of projects you like working on, they send you a surprise kit in the mail that is totally hand curated to fit your desires perfectly. And I absolutely love that concept and I've loved working with them for the last year. And I reached out to Rachel and asked her, hey, would you be interested in us doing the same exact kit one month and then doing a series of challenges where we have to make the same thing and seeing how similarly or differently those projects end up being using the same products and challenges. And I thought that just sounded like such a fun idea and luckily she did too and she was like, yes, I love it. So that's what we're doing this month. I have a kit unboxing video and I also have my first video in this series or technically the second one after the unboxing where we shared our take on DIY embellishments and I made some really pretty layered paper clips for that video and she made some rosettes. And now today we are both going to be making some embellished tags and I'm so excited for this. As you can see, I'm sticking with the color theme that I've been so obsessed with lately. All of the pinks and the reds and the oranges and the yellows, I'm just loving all of like those earthy tones, you know, like kind of like the color of clay and the color of tree bark and I don't know, I'm I'm really into it at the moment. It's very boho and 70s and I am showing up for it. I am there for it. So yeah, I started using those pattern papers from my kit and cut little tags out of them using tags that I already had in my stash as a template and now I'm going to work on embellishing them. I do take a couple of bits of white lace from my stash and add them to a couple of the tags. And of course some white thread. What would we do without thread to add to our projects? I know. And recently I've been seeing a ton of people on Instagram use metallic thread. And I think it's so beautiful that is now next on my wish list. I use my white thread all the time. And I think if I got some metallic thread, it would be really fun and I would definitely use it. So that is next on my eyeballing wish list, the things I've been looking at. And now I'm just going to start embellishing my first tag here. I add that sticker that says smile on top of some bunches of thread. And then I'm also going to add this little ephemera piece here. And I'm using some chipboard to pop that up off of the tag and add some dimension and height and give me some variation there with all of the different textures. And I use hot glue to glue down most of the stuff onto my tags because I want it to be a really secure and long lasting hold. And I found that liquid glue and double sided tape doesn't really get me that long lasting adherence that I really want. Even if it's permanent, it doesn't seem to work as well as hot glue when you're doing something that has a lot of texture and layers to it. So hot glue for me always works best for these types of projects. So that's what I'm using. I finished off my first tag there with a couple of enamel dots. I love those enamel dots that came in my kit. And then I move on to my second tag. I finished that one pretty quick too. Added some lace and then some little chipboard on top of there that I had popped up on some hot glue. And now I'm taking an ephemera piece from the kit this month. And it's this sweet tea mason jar with a lemon in it and a straw in it. I don't like tea and I know I live in the south but it's it's just not for me. I don't like it. 
and I didn't like the color, the way it looked on the tag I was thinking I was going to use it on. So I actually paint all of the tea white and that makes it look like a plain mason jar. And yeah, I love that effect. I end up hot gluing that down onto my tag layered under that chipboard piece that says hello. And then I add a cute yellow leaf here. I love how that looks. You can see how I actually used the hot glue and added a big dollop of it at the end. And that makes the leaf kind of come up off of the page towards the end there. You can see the fun shadows that that leaves. And yeah, I just love the texture and layers that that adds to the page. So beautiful. I had some white twine, some more enamel dots, and of course a little phrase there that says home. And just like I did with the DIY paper clips and my scrapbooking layout that I'll be sharing soon, I cut apart some of the pattern papers that we got this month and used them kind of like word stickers or phrase stickers and just glued some of those down. We had particularly a 12 by 12 pattern paper that was all about mom life and it had a lot of mom quotes on it. And I'm not a mom, coincidentally, Rachel is not a mom either and she used the same paper the same way where we went through and we cut up those cute little mock letter board patterns there and cut specific words out of it that we wanted to use since the entire phrases didn't really apply to us as they were a about mom life. And now I'm making a sequined shaker tag here. I love this idea. I used some plastic packaging and I used my fuse tool and some double sided tape to first adhere the plastic sleeve to the edge of my tag there and then to seal it at the edge. And I love how that looks. I added a ton of sequins that I had from past wild hair kits in all of these beautiful summer colors. You could see I ended up pouring some in there and then pouring them out on the desk. I took out all the blue ones. I wanted to stick with the fun, warm summer flower colors for this. And so that's what I did. And then there was this super cute flower cart embellishment in the chipboard set in our kit this month. And I didn't like all the white space that it had behind it. So what I did was I actually cut that chipboard piece apart and I cut all of the white background out of it. So you can see now around all the flowers and that register, the cashier's register, and underneath the bunting at the top of the cart is actually see-through. And you could see those gorgeous sequins peeking through from the shaker page there. And I finished off this page with a little bit of lace. I added some white lace and some white thread to my cart, my little flower cart on the sequin tag. And then I add some pink lace up to the top of this to tie off my tag. And I don't put thread or lace at the top of all of my tags. In fact, I don't do it to that many of them because I typically, I don't know, I'm just not a person that feels like I need thread on my tags usually, but I did on a couple of my tags this month and I really like how they looked. So yeah, moving right along here, I've got a few more. You can see I fussy cut some flowers from a pattern paper. I also fussy cut some flowers out from one of the ephemera pieces. I add some chipboard pieces. Another one of those ephemera bits that has the foil on it and it says, Dear Saturday, I love you. I really love that font and I just popped that up on some hot glue, layered it over some thread. You can see using the hot glue and just using a thick layer of it, it really pops those pieces up and makes them look kind of like a chipboard. Um, except you get these really fun shadows underneath of them that you don't get with the chipboard. And I really love how that creates space for me to layer things underneath like that cute little green tree vine there. And then I also added a few more phrases and enamel dots to that one to finish it off. And this is what my tags look like. I'm sorry for the shakiness here. This is an impermanent filming setup. I know my filming quality isn't as good lately as usual, and that's because I've been rearranging my craft room. So I have a temporary filming space right now, and it's not as good, so please bear with me. Hopefully in the next couple of months, I will be back to the filming quality I used to have, which I love so much better, and yeah, it's a lot more pleasant on the eyes. But in the meantime, I didn't want to just stop filming. I love sharing these projects with you guys and hopefully inspiring you like I get inspired by some of my favorite YouTubers. 
And yeah, I just love these cute little layer tags here. They're such a great way to use up lots of embellishments and papers. You can give them to pen pals or friends. You can make tag flips. You can add them to your traditional scrapbooking layouts. They're great for so many different uses. So I hope you love these tags. Make sure to check out Rachel's video to see what tags she makes with the same kit. I will link her channel down below. And if you want to get crafty with me, check out my crafty e-courses. Buying one of my courses is the best way to support this channel. Hours and hours of work goes into recording and editing each one of the videos I share with you here. And buying one of my crafty e-courses gets you insider access to my favorite tips, techniques, and all of the ways that I love combining self-love with creativity and memory keeping. And I just want to share my passion for that with you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the fun stuff. Check out the links below for Rachel's channel, The Wild Hair Kits, and my crafty e-courses. Bye, friends.